two self tests that you can do for your knee to try to find out what's causing your knee pain. One of the most common things that causes knee pain is a meniscus irritation. So a really simple test you can do at home is stand on one foot. If your balance is not great, you can kind of hold on to a chair, a countertop, something like that. And then all you're gonna do is keeping your foot planted, you're just gonna kind of rotate your weight side to side. So rotate all the way over to one side, all the way over to the other side, and then kind of bend that knee a little bit more, and then same thing, go through full range of motion. So all the way over to one side, all the way over to the other side. So I'm not having any problems with my meniscus right now, so I'm not having any pain with that. But if you have pain or clicking with pain, Don't try this at home. that could be an indication that you might have some kind of meniscus irritation, Don't anything try. from just an inflammatory response to a tear. If that's painful to do that, that's an indication that meniscus isn't doing as good as it should. So that's a really simple test you can do. This test is more for the control of your entire lower extremity. So we say this a lot, but for knee problems, it just gets in the way of poor hip mechanics and poor foot and ankle mechanics. So you're gonna do a step up test. So the ideal way to do this is in front of a mirror. So you guys are gonna kind of be my mirror. But what I want is when I put foot on step and I go to step up, what should happen is my foot should stay straight, my knee should stay over the outside of my foot, and my pelvis should stay level. So what I'm gonna do is step up like that, and then same thing, stepping down like that. That's what that should look like. What it will commonly look like when we test this in our office is you go to put weight here and that knee will kind of dive in and go over kind of the inside of that big toe. So this is not ideal positioning for your knee. You want your knee to pre stay pretty straight, but because of weakness in the hip or poor control in your foot, what can happen is as you go to step up, it will kind of rotate in, or you might even shift your weight over to the side, so that would kind of throw the pelvis off a little bit. Remember, we want this to be level. If your belt, um, if you put a level on your belt, like if you're gonna level a picture, you want that to stay level. So you don't want a lot of shifting in your hip. You don't want this knee to kind of dive in like that. If you do this test, and certainly if you have pain, then that means it's positive, or if you can't control your femur, if you can't keep that knee over the outside of the foot, or if you're kind of tilting side to side in order to do that, that's an indication that you're having some kind of muscular control problem, and that might be what's causing your knee pain.